What's up, Badger Nation? I'm Brett from Ad Badger, and today let's talk about setting negative keyword rules inside of our app to automate blocking keywords that are raising your ACoS. Negative keyword rules are extremely important to stopping wasteful spend and hitting your target ACoS. When you don't have negative keyword rules set, you are probably bidding on keywords that aren't getting conversions at all. Setting these rules inside of Ad Badger will allow you to stop appearing for keywords that aren't converting and earning you sales. So let's jump right into the app right now and check out our negative keyword predator suite. Okay, so here we are inside of our negative keyword tool within Ad Badger. Our negative keyword suite has four different components to it. We're going to run through those real quick. The first one is the negative keyword predator, which is a daily automator and it comes with three pre-built rules if you want to use those or you can go ahead and set your own rules. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. The second tool we have is a negative keyword forage tool. This is a one-time action tool, and what it's meant to do is go through every single keyword in your account, and you can see all of the different metrics and the data, how that keyword's been performing. Um, if you don't like its performance, you can go ahead and add it as a negative keyword right from the negative keyword forager. So that's a really cool tool that's gonna replace you ever having to use spreadsheets ever again. We also have our negative keyword predator whitelist. Uh, before the negative keyword predator adds any search term as negative, it'll check the negative keyword whitelist. Uh, so even if a certain keyword is not performing very well, you still want to rank for it. Uh, you still want to bring in sales for it. You can add that into the negative keyword predator whitelist, and that will never be blacklisted by the negative keyword predator. Uh, a lot of our customers like to do this for competitors' branded keywords that they may not be performing super well for, uh, but they still want to try to take some of their market share. They still want to try to, you know, go after some of their customers, rank for that keyword. So they put that into the whitelist. And then lastly, we have the negative keyword predator history tool. And you can see exactly what the negative keyword predator has been up to. Um, if you go to the negative keyword predator history, you can see all the keywords that have been blacklisted. Um, and by blacklisted, I mean added as a negative keyword. You can also see why that happened, when it happened, and you can make sure that no keywords that you want to be ranking for are actually being added as negative keywords. So that's a great resource as well. So that's it for our overview. Let's go ahead and jump right into the negative keyword predator and check it out. So here we are inside of the predator mode. And as you can see, we have some pre-built rules that you can use or you can go ahead and add your own custom rules down further below. But if you want to go ahead and add our pre-built rules, which are pretty good, you can uh, go ahead and just hit these three plus signs right here, plus, plus, and plus. And what these pre-built rules are going to do within your accounts, it's gonna scan every single keyword over the past six months, and it's going to find anything that is really inefficient and is causing wasteful ad spend, and it's going to add that as a negative keyword or it's going to blacklist it. So our first rule, um, anything that any keyword that has over 2,500 impressions and a really poor click-through rate that has gotten you no sales over the past six months, it's going to go ahead and blacklist that or add it as a negative keyword. Uh, any keyword with over $35 in ad spend that hasn't gotten you a conversion, it's going to blacklist that. And any keyword over the last six months with over 34 clicks without getting you a single conversion, um, that's going to be added as a negative keyword as well. So again, if you want to come in and add these to your account uh, and turn on the predator so it runs every single day, um, it's going to automate your negative keyword blacklisting. Um, all you have to do is come in here and click these three plus signs uh, again to add that to your account. If you don't see our pre built rules right when you load into the predator, uh, you can expand those by clicking this question mark right here. Uh, that'll hide them and show them. Um, once you hit the three plus marks, you can see them down at the bottom here uh, and your predator mode should look like this. And that means that you do have rules added and they are working. Um, so that's that. That's the keyword predator. I definitely recommend giving it a shot. Uh, there's no reason you should let inefficient keywords run through your budget. Um, you know, if they're not converting, they're not getting you a sale. Why are you spending money on them? There's no reason to let that happen in your account. And that's how the negative keyword predator can be used uh, to get that ACoS lower, to prevent wasteful ad spend, and to make your uh, campaigns much more optimized and much more efficient. Now that I've shown you around the negative keyword predator tool, let's jump into the negative keyword predator history tool so we can see how we can keep an eye on the negative keyword predator and see what's been going on in your account. 
So here we are in the negative keyword predator history. And as you can see, uh, you have access to every single keyword that has been added as a negative keyword by the negative keyword predator. So you can see which campaign the keyword came from, which ad group, you can see the keyword itself. You can see whether this was added through predator mode or uh, if you added it through the forager or if it was already there. And then you can see the exact time that it was added as a negative keyword. And then if uh, uh, obviously if you wanna undo that keyword and you wanna make it so that it's no longer a negative keyword and you can go ahead and rank for it again and bid on it again, you can click undo right here and that'll take care of it for you. Um, so that's what our predator history tab does. So let's jump into the predator whitelist tab. Again, the predator whitelist is great. Uh, if there are certain keywords that aren't performing well, but you don't want the predator to go in and add them as a negative keyword, um, the whitelist is where you want to add those terms. This will prevent the predator from taking those keywords out. All you have to do to add those is click right there. You can hit filter existing keywords and go through all of your existing keywords. Um, you can filter through those, or you can add your own keywords very easily right here. Uh, just enter the campaign and the ad group, and then you can uh, you can add certain keywords to the whitelist from right there. So that's it for the whitelist tool. Let's jump into the negative keyword forge tool now. The forge tool is a really cool tool. Um, so normally when you want to sift through every single keyword or search term in your account and understand which ones are converting well, you have to go into the ad manager inside Seller Central and download an advertising report that can be uh, you know, just thousands and thousands of rows of information and it's super hard to sift through. Um, it can be a huge pain and we designed the forage mode to basically eliminate the need for you to ever use this, one of those pesky spreadsheets ever again. So you can come in here, uh, you can see every keyword in your account. Uh, you can you can sort it by which campaign you want to do. Uh, you can sort it by date range. So we have 14 days, 30 days, 90 days, and 180 days. We also have options to exclude the last two days from your data because there is a 48 hour Amazon reporting delay. Here we also have the ability to filter through your keywords based on a bunch of different metrics. So you can sort it by impressions, clicks, click through rate, total spend, average cost per click, uh, ACOS, your one day conversion, seven day conversion, 30 day conversion. So yeah, you can add a whole bunch of filters and really sift through those keywords to focus in on the ones that you are looking for. So as you can see, I'm looking right now for any keyword with over 20 clicks that hasn't resulted in a sale because that's just wasted ad spend basically. Um, so you can scroll down, you can see all of the different metrics for every single keyword. You can see which ad group that's, that it's coming from. Uh, you can see the keyword itself. Uh, you can see the query, the impressions, the clicks, the click-through rate, total spend, the cost per click, and the average cost of sale for every single keyword right here in the Forager. Um, as you can see, this keyword, for example, has gotten 22 clicks. Um, it, it has spent $12.50, and it has not resulted in a sale yet. So if you wanted to come and add this as a negative keyword from the Forage tool, all you have to do is click it, click uh, I like to do negative exact, that's what I recommend. Uh, you can also add it at the campaign level, the ad group level, or the account level. So if you wanted to add it at the ad group level, all you do is click update account right here and that would add that keyword as a negative keyword. Uh, so the Forage tool is really awesome. Definitely recommend coming in and giving it a shot. And that's it for our negative keyword suite tour. I hope you got a good sense of our negative keyword predator suite and how it's essential for lowering your ACoS and avoiding wasteful spend from this video. If you still have questions, you know what to do. Comment on this video and we'll answer any more questions you have about negative keywords, our app, or anything else PPC related. If you're interested in unlimited videos, an Amazon PPC community, and one-on-one -on -one coaching, be sure to join the waitlist to our membership course, which we have a link to below. This has been Brett from AdBadger. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as always to keep getting great Amazon PPC videos, and I'll see you inside the Badger Den.